Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about what is the role of Docker and Kubernetes in DevOps. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. Role of learning Docker, why this is important and why we need it. Let us focus more on this thing. So like I mentioned in a layman term, Docker means container, right? So Docker has the ability to focus more on packing with containers and it is used majorly for software development field to just reduce and solve the n number of software development challenges. For example, what? Let's say there is a one OS platform, say Windows, and one of them has a team, a group of people in a remote location. They are working and they have developed one of the application in their own system. But they don't have any flexibility or any tool, you know, to merge them or to integrate them with all the five developer members so that everyone can, you know, work on it together or, you know, they can maintain it. They don't have such kind of flexibility. What they do is they just follow the tradition method. One of them works it and, it, you know, he or she passes the same to another one. What happens is this creates a lot of challenges in terms of scalability, reusability, cross-platforms, cross-browser issues, everything. That's when Docker comes in our picture that using a single Docker image or in other terms, once just containerize once and run everywhere. That is, the moment you create a Docker file and you containerize that application in file, that containerization application or that containerization Docker file can be run everywhere, anywhere. Doesn't matter what the version of OS is, what platform is what library is, what anything is. You don't have to rely on others. A single file can do everything by just containerizing one. Does it help you to reduce the gap between development and production servers? Okay. Now, you don't have to worry about your prod, your dev, your servers and all. You just simply do it and you can pass it to another one even though his or her and entire configurations are different, systems are different. Still, they can use that file and manage your pro okay next step is this will help you to distribute your application easy yes like i mentioned uh, you can you know easily transfer from one application to another by distributing it that docker file a docker file can be distributed everywhere irrespective of any version development in a cross platform yes doesn't matter your application is Windows supported or Linux supported only. It can be developed and run in any cross browser, cross platform environment. Okay. So these are the one of the major benefits and that's why you know, one must focus on learning Docker or these are the roles that bring on Docker. Similarly, what is Kubernetes and how it can be merged or how it can go in hand in hand with DevOps. Now let us study that. So like I mentioned in a layman term, Kubernetes is, is a simply, it's an orchestration tool. Okay. So it's an open source container orchestration tool, which focuses more on creating, managing, and you know, updating your containers at scale. At scale means it has the flexibility to scale. That is horizontal, horizontal and vertically scale your containers. N number of horizontal and vertical scaling or scalable can be done okay yeah you can kind of scale your resources you can scale your clusters you can increase your resources you can decrease your resources it has the flexibility to uh, you know auto scaling your pods deployments and other kubernetes objects so we use kubernetes because uh, it is one of the system or a tool you know that helps you to automate your software deployment so once you have your uh, enterprise application or software ready in hand from building to deployment to scaling everything Kubernetes can you know can help you to do that it can help you completely to focus on that part so you don't have to worry how the application will be looked like how the application will be hosted uh, that's what Kubernetes provide you with all those major functionalities with all those major services okay now when we say DevOps, why we are using DevOps development plus operations is because you have to focus with development plus operations part, right? Where you have to plan, code, 
build, test, deploy, manage, support your operations, everything you have to do it using Docker, Kubernetes and the application. So DevOps comes into picture, right? So how you can incorporate Kubernetes with DevOps? Or what is the workflow of Kubernetes with DevOps? This is what we will learn now. Okay. So let us first focus on infrastructure and configuration as code. Also known as ICA. That is infrastructure and configuration code. Uh, this part is mainly focuses on the infrastructure setup of your system. What are things that you are covering? Like the OS, the version, the bare or I would say, yeah, the bare metal, or I would say the base, the first step. Okay. And then, then it focuses on the configuration part of your code. Like uh, what kind of manifestation files you have, properties files you have, what kind of configuration you want to bring on for the code. So this is more in terms of infrastructuring and configuration. Everything in and on with these two terms only. Yeah, here you can do integrations and all everything. Then next, uh, you know, DevOps, it can also help you to iterate your application, test it, debug, troubleshoot it, the different different parts in a group or in a singular part or in a whole or a specific part of uh, application or together also in a same cluster. So let's say you have a worker node cluster, right? In Inside of that cluster, one of the application is running and probably the application's single feature or single part is not working accurately. So for example, let us take an example, say Amazon is deployed in a master nodes and in the worker nodes, it has a couple of uh, Amazon pages running, right? Say payment part. Now, yeah, say payment, security, login and registration all are running on a different clusters. Say one of the clusters featured uh, in which it has payment feature, that part is not running accurately or stably. So, you know, you can just work on that part you can just debug that part without touching or disturbing the other clusters or others um you know other part of the application merge and check code into a github repo for command line interface yeah in this part majorly you know it focuses more on uh everyone knows what is github and what github repo are okay i'm assuming so here you can just check in check out your code you can merge your code using ci Okay, command line interface. That thing can be done with Kubernetes and DevOps so that you know your application is entirely managed on GitHub repo, GitHub server. Next, verify the source and integrity of container images. Like we discussed in the Kubernetes road, sorry, Docker and Kubernetes roadmap, that uh, once we have container images, how to secure our images, how to secure our Docker files, how to verify the integrity, and all those things will focus more in this part. Okay. Moving further next, Kubernetes clusters uh, will help you to manage and uh, you know go in hand in hand with DevOps. It will help you to provide tools such as Terraform, Kibana, Grafana and all to manage and monitoring your log and you know your metrics, analytics, everything of your Kubernetes cluster using DevOps and using such kind of tools. So once you have an application, you can just deploy on Kubernetes. But what about the monitoring of this application, monitoring of these clusters? What about the logs of the cluster? What about the analytics? What about the metrics? So for that, we have a different tools such as Terraform, Kabana, and so and so on. Such kind of specific tools can be used for managing all this part. Okay. Next, it helps DevOps teams to reduce the burden of infrastructure. Yeah. So like I mentioned, uh, let us just take an example of the same Amazon. Let's say Amazon has seven features, different kind of features. One is of payment gateway, another is authentication, another one is um, adding items to the cart. And let us there are seven to eight different containers. Okay, each container holds some different features of Amazon application. Now, if you just put every application, every feature in a single container, the problem would be uh, the load of the container would be increased at a higher level. Because of that, you know, the application can be unstable. The application would have been completely slowed down. One of the feature may work, one of the feature may not work. Or the issues can be, what would happen if, um, you know, one of the containers 
or the containers one part gets broke down if that is done then the entire application would be broke down right so that should not be happen that's why devops also comes here which will help you to burden the infrastructure setup component setup by uh, creating different kind of containers as per the requirement and needed and it will help you to operate every container on different machines thus you know it is it will help you to manage the load balancing of the application it will help you to scale your applications as much as you want without interrupting without destroying and without breakdown of any single container also that is what uh, you know overall in a broader picture it will do so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive and want to build a career in Kubernetes and Docker, including DevOps, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on mastering Kubernetes, Docker, and DevOps that includes how to build in demand skills and land a higher paying job. So, for that, you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash k8s02. You have to click on book your free seat now, and after that, select an event date according to your availability, enter your name your email address, your phone number and click on yes save my seat. Moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to save this link on the extreme right, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then take care and keep learning.